I mean, we're hitting him pretty... Oh, he dropped his shield. Oh, he picked it back up again. Stupid AI skill. Justinian, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, you had this moment. Oh, Justinian with the clutch comeback. Bring that ass down. Lose that hat, baby. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Domina. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. You're probably thinking right now, well, what do you mean by welcome back? This is like the first video. Well, yeah, you're right. It is the first video, but we've actually have covered this in the past before. We checked it out before the release and a little bit after the release as well. We're revisiting this again because um, I've heard there's been a lot of updates since I last played it. And more importantly, they actually added a save feature, which is something I thoroughly would have loved when I played the game in the past before. Because I would have to sit down and play this game and either die horribly or try to beat the game in one single sitting because there was no saving. I know, I know. Oh, poor baby, he's got to play some video games and he's got to record them. Oh, he doesn't have enough time to do it. Yeah, I know. First world problems. But that's okay. Now I could actually, you know, play the game and record and save and, you know, pick it up another day, which is great. So, let's get into this. In case you are new to Domina, this is essentially a gladiator um, tycoon sim game. You basically build up your gladiators from the ground up, make them into champions, and have them go out there and obviously kill each other because that's what gladiators would do. Um, so here we go, and I'm going to read this just in case this is new to you. Uh, the sun is setting on a once mighty Roman Empire. Violent rebellion erupts in the far territories while political corruption erodes the empire closer to home. Fearing that the citizens will revolt and attempt to re-establish the Republic, the Emperor has decreed that there shall be a year of epic gladiatorial games culminating in the greatest championship the Empire has ever seen, affording unimaginable rewards of coin and glory. The Emperor hopes to revitalize commerce and re-establish the rule of law once again, but Rome is disin disintegrating in its clenched fist. The next local games are scheduled soon, and you aim to win. So we could do this with a tutorial, or we could do this without. I'm going to go ahead and skip it, although I believe doing the tutorial is a good idea, just because it starts you off with more resources. But it's fine. We've done this in the past before, so I haven't played in a very long time. But we'll see how we roll here. So let me move these fellows over here. We have the Doctore. This guy is going to be in charge of um, training my people and also learning skills over time. So what I'd like to do with this guy first is go ahead and do the Enable automatic gladiator training, and then we'll start off with the first one, which will be humility. Gladiators can surrender at any time during battle, potentially saving his life, which is very good, especially if you run into like a situation where one of your champions is about to get killed and about to lose his head. Maybe he'll like, you know, surrender before he actually gets killed. Let me learn about our best fighter here. We have Justinian of Silesia. I believe I could rename these guys too, so if you guys enjoyed this, want to see some more, let me know in the comments, let me know by leaving a thumbs up, and I might do some renames after you guys as well. But, you know, that just depends if you want to see some more. Now, this guy's got the Wooden Gladius. I'm going to go ahead, and I think the first good upgrade to do is always to get the upgraded weapon, the Gladius. I don't normally go for the... the comma, whatever that is, to, um... until we get the... the guy who makes weapons for us, because it'll make it a lot cheaper as well. Plus, you know, if he dies, it'll be like a waste of my gold up here. So that's fine, you're, you're kind of decked out pretty well, I gotta admit. <laughs> this is not a really bad setup for startup here. Now, meditation is so important because it'll give you AI skill. What I want to do with this series, if we do more of this, is I don't want to necessarily mind control my guys. I want to have it be like a complete simulation where I just let my training of them do the work for me. So I normally like to go and meditate a little bit. I think agility is very important. So I'm going to do agility and meditation because this will increase the AI skill, which is very, very useful. Now, let's go to the next guy over, and we have 131 HP. That's actually really terrible. I don't like that. And 156 for you. You'll do. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and increase you up to the Gladius as well. You got the dead man's face, okay? You got some black leather. I normally like for the bronze one, but I, can't, I think we could go up to bronze with you. That'll kind of keep you safe for a while. That's not too bad right here. Let me give you the... The fancy leather skirt as well. And that's about it. I actually like to go up to the red shield as soon as possible as well. And then that, that'll that have to do. Yeah, that'll have to do. Okay, so let's do the same for you. Agility and a little bit of meditation as well. Okay, let's come over here and let's hire some employees. Now, this is going to be really important because these will dictate... Um, your upgrade to your lettuce in general. So what I like to start off with is an architect. Because this guy will let me... 
be- make my gladiators train a lot faster and better as well. So let me pick him up for 65 coin. We're using a lot of money right now, but that's okay. Um, the other thing I'd like to also pick up is going to be the educator, because he will speed up the amount of um, AI skill. So let's pick him up as well. The agent is really good for money, for the, uh, the free pit fights, but... I think that we should start upgrading our equipment. So I'm going to go with the, the father. The father. And what he'll do is he'll start in, um, increasing our equipment over time. So let me have him do the auto repairs and start learning automatic upgrades so we can unlock the auto upgrade. And here we have a fight already. I wasn't even done with the other people just yet, but that's okay. Wow, we have a fight against a... A, re, a Retarius this early on. Iron Spear. Oh, no. I, I don't like fighting the, the Spear dudes. Especially this early on. This is a really bad RNG roll. Which could be purely, pretty terrible for us. Alright, Justinian. If you're going to be my best fighter, I need you to prove it to me in combat right now. Let's accept the terms. So right now, I don't control this. Mind you, if you unlock the skill Mind Control, you will be able to control your people if you want to. But I want to do this run without having to rely on that. I feel like my dude's a bit too slow, and I already lost my shield, which is very terrible. But we might have a chance here, as long as it doesn't keep poking me away. Come on, Justinian. Show me you're the champion we deserve here, buddy. No, you know what sucks, too? That shield? Oh, we won. Good. That shield that we just dropped right now, <laughs> we lose it for good. So now I'm gonna be go I'm gonna have, like, the shield downgraded when we uh, continue here. But that's okay. At least we got 115 coin. We also got Titus, who actually does have some equipment already. And the crowd favor of three as well. Like, the bloodier the fight, the more crowd favor you get as well. So here is Titus, who we just picked up right now. Let's see. This guy is 151. Not exactly the greatest, but it'll kind of have to do. Um, let me go ahead and give you the agility training and some meditation as well. Okay. And let me move you up here. Now, Architect. Start building those palaces for me. And then, Educator, I want you to start focusing on... All Gladiator training time is decreased. Very important one. So I think I'm going to go with that one. Focus to begin with. Let me tr give you a heal for one coin. When they're healing, they don't train whatsoever, right? So he'll do that. Doctor, you're done with humility. Perfect. Let's give you... This is mind control, which does, lets me control the characters. But uh, again, I don't want to use that because it does make the game a, a lot easier for you. Always run and require less stamina to do so. That's actually very important. The faster you are, that's the reason why I focus on agility. Of course, I'm, I'm playing with the idea that I used to play beforehand, so I'm not sure that's still applicable now. Equipment Steward. Weapon, armor, shields all lose 50% less HP in battle. Hmm, let me give that to my, my champion here for now. I mean, he's currently my champion. For all we know, he won't be my champion down the line. He might die pretty soon. So now we have the palace. Let's go ahead and um, create more of those. Normally, I like to kind of... Let's see, you're done with focus. Quicker heal after combat. Yes, let's pick that one up right here. Normally, what I like to aim for is having the first two rows... Nimble stand. <laughs> Sorry. I'll get this idea out eventually, believe me. Uh, let's go with aim attack now. I like to fill up the two rows with palaces. The first row with palace, the coal pit, and also the stones, which will let me do faster training for agility and strength as well. The second line is just palaces. The third one I usually leave it empty because I want to get my I want to get my agent in here as soon as possible. So I normally replace the architect with the agent afterwards. So here we have a fight against uh, Titulus. <laughs> Titulus, yeah, it's very titillating, isn't he? So this guy has got the AI skill of five, so he's actually pretty dumb. He's very aggressive though, which is pretty bad for a Mormilo because they got they dual wield, right? So a very aggressive dual wielder could be a problem. Damage will be 28 HP, right? I do want to win. Okay, Justinian. This is still really... This is still a fight I'm not too comfortable with, but I do want to win for the gold early on so we can do some upgrades. Now, if you notice when we were setting this, um, picking the gladiators out, it gave you a couple of options here you can read, like, uh... Hold up, let's see how this does. Okay, we should be fine. Now, the problem with the more Mormillo class is that... He surrendered. So he, he didn't die. The problem with them is they don't have a shield, right? Because they're dual-wielding weapons. So they can be a problem, but if they don't also have a, a shield, they can't block their attacks. And if you're over here just swinging at them and their AI skill is very low, they will be wrecked as that happened, right? Which is great. <laughs> we actually got Sextus of Hungaria. 170 HP, that's actually really, really good. You, my friend, are probably sticking to board. So let me give you some meditation and some agility. Let me place you up here. Excuse me, you. Out of the way, okay? Architect. More palaces, my friend. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so what was what, I, what was I trying to say earlier? Did I eventually get it out? 
<laughs> I think I did. I don't know. I've been trying to tell you guys some stuff, but then stuff happens where I have to stop talking about it and whatever. Aimed attack is done now. So here we have aimed defense. The gladiators can place their shield towards the direction of an incoming attack for a more effective defense. Not, not a bad thing. Blade control will give us 25% more damage as well of all weapons, and then shield control will be better shield control, obviously. Um, normally, I'll be honest with you, I play really aggressive, so I'm going to go with the increase the damage, the Fabe. So now let me go ahead and give him auto upgrade. So what this will do now is that over time, he will randomly choose equipment that we're equipped with, and he will upgrade it. Sometimes it'll be on your important people, sometimes it'll be like on people you're not even using, so it's just completely random, but it's a free upgrade, so you can't really complain. Let's also go ahead and get the Improved Furnace, and let's come over here to the City Marketplace and we want to buy some food, some wine, and some water. In case you're wondering about these people here, this is us, and then these people right here would be um, the Magistrate and the Legat. And, and essentially for them, you want to win their favor, they will kind of do favors for you as well. You could blackmail them, which is the reason why I want the Agent. But again, we'll, there's a lot about this game that I really want to talk about, but we'll get to it once we get to that point. Um, so with this done... Let's go ahead and now do the philosophy for the AI fighting proficiency, which is so important. Now, you, my friend, give me another palace here. Once we get the first row with palaces, I'm going to start dropping some coal pits here and then some of the, the rocks as well so we can do some strength training. How's this coming along here? Meditates at 26, pretty good. Agility at 11, not bad. Normally, I like to aim for, like, 30s. Like, give me 30 agility, 30 strength, and 30 weapon proficiency. And then just maximize the AI skill, and you have a really good party for the early game. Here we have Alaga Balus. Alaga Balus. 31 AI skill, which isn't really too bad. So he's not as dumb as the other dudes we've fought thus far. Oh, I forgot to heal Justinian after the last fight. That's on me, Justinian. Your AI skill is 26. You're at 5 only. This worries me a little bit. 157. If I was to use my champion again, what's the problem here? This guy's got more HP already than I do. I do hit slightly harder, but... Man, I'm gonna be honest with you here. I'm not liking this fight at all. I almost feel like rejecting this fight. I almost feel like rejecting this fight right now. What do you think, Justinian? You think you got this or what? Alright, buddy. I'm sending you out there. Hey, if you feel like you're about to lose, surrender. There's no shame in just taking a surrender. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, we're hitting him pretty... Oh, he dropped his shield. Oh, he picked it back up again. Stupid AI skill. Justinian, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, you had this moment. Oh, Justinian with the clutch comeback. Bring that ass down. Lose that hat, baby. Oh my god, what a comeback! Oh, Justinian, you, you, you proved to us something here today, that even though it seemed you were about to choke, you didn't decide to throw, you came back. My friend, you have to serve yourself a nice good heal for that. Don't you worry, faster heals are coming up pretty soon. Oh my god, that was, uh, did you see how close that was? That's the reason why I don't like to mind control, because it's a lot more fun to just watch it happen, and kind of, like, it gets you involved. Like, I'm over here rooting for my guy as opposed to controlling him. Um, we got... Gesius of Sirius, it does seem, who's got amazing HP. So you know what, my friend? You have made the cut. Let me go ahead and start training with some agility over here. Hey, who's this? This is Spurious. He's at 143. You know what? Let's grant this guy freedom. I don't care to have him in here. Uh, the less people you have to, the less people you have to feed. So normally it's not a good, mad idea to get rid of people you won't use. Although you want to keep some people out for sacrifices sometimes. So let me do another palace over here. This will give us the first row done. Okay. You continue healing. Our next fight is in five days. Mind you, we have 340 di 342 days left. If you're wondering, well, I was going to explain that pretty soon, but here we have a random event. A homeless drunkard grabs your arm in the street and says he knows you. You are without bodyguard. Tell him to feast on your cock, kick him in the groin, and run. Embrace him with a... That's actually how I would respond. <laughs> If I'm walking down the street, and apparently some random hobo, hobo just grabs my arm, he's like, Hey, hey kid, I know you. I'll be like, hey my friend, why don't you feast on my cock, huh? <laughs> Technically what I meant, I think what that really means, like in modern day talk, would be to, you know, suck my you-know-what. But here, you know, we're talking about, you know, Roman times, so it's kind of like, Hey, my friend, will you please feast on my penis, perhaps? Embrace him with a hug to this, despite the fact that he smells of piss and shit and you have no idea who he is, stab him with your dagger immediately. <laughs> well, I, I like how my character just jumps to the... Well, I mean, 
This guy could be a pervert. I, I forgot that my character is a female. This guy could be up to something no good, huh? Oh, I also have a female cock then. Let's go with that one. It turns out the man was a cousin of the magistrate. Uh-oh! When the magistrate hears of your behavior, he publicly denounces it but secretly applauds you. The magistrate has wanted to kick that man in the groin for years. Oh, so we did pretty good. For a second there, I thought that we had got some bad favor with the magistrate. But as you can see, he's happy about the fact that we humiliated his, his hobo cousin. For a second there, I was like thinking, oh my god. What are the odds? Okay, so gladiators can learn a loss in the arena. Oh, this will be for the surrender, which we should learn. Uh, let me go with the anatomy for more damage, because that could be very useful as well. Doctore. The Doctore is done with his control here, so let's do... I like to disarm weapons as well. That's not too bad. Those give me an extra Jupiter's Blessing, which is the cards that we haven't talked about. Although you saw me equip one of my characters with one. Aim Defense and Shield Control. Uh, honestly, I want to get up to Berserk as soon as possible. But a little bit of defense increase with our shield is not a bad idea, so let me just pick this one up for now. Now, Jupiter's Blessing, we should have... Oh, yeah, that's... No, that's not good. I'm gonna hold on to that. So Sextus is the other guy. Agility 1, Meditate 5. I still haven't promoted him in case you're wondering. I'm available to turn him into a Treyx, right? But we might want to hold off, just level him up, and then go with the Mormilla and maybe even the Retarius here afterwards. We'll see how it plays out. Titus is the guy we got a while back. His HP isn't really that great still. Still going with the agility training, some meditation as well. Actually, you, I got you as a reward for a fight, huh? Yeah. I don't know, Titus. I, I don't know. You keep doing what you're doing, but you, you might be on the chopping block here pretty soon. You're at 10 and 7 with the Gladius. Okay. And then, Justinian's over here still healing. Architect. Let's start dropping the... What am I looking for here? The the the, whole, the coal pit. So we can start increasing. What this will do is that since we're doing a lot of agility training, it'll speed up the amount of time it takes to increase your agility. Oh yeah, these days. God damn it, I was going to show you guys and then... Okay, we'll do it afterwards, I swear. If I don't forget. One gladiator... Uh, gladiator. One gladiator versus one gladiator. This will be against um, the Retarius. This will be Iron Spear fella. Spears just really worry me early on. I don't know why. I'm just like, you know, terrified of these dudes early on. Uh, 140 gold coin, huh? I almost might want it, really. Because, I mean, Justinian's now healed, which he's ready for this fight, but... You're only at AI skill 7? I, I need a backup fighter, guys. Like, Justinian can't do all this by himself, you know? Alright, you know what, Lucentius? It is time for you to earn your keep, my friend. You either win or you don't. Right? Should we send them out? Screw it. I'm sending you out. If you lose, my friend, what can I say you lose? But you know what? I can't keep babying you. Just sitting and can't do every single goddamn fight. You need a nut up right now. You need a nut up right now. And you show to me, you show to everybody watching right now, that you are going to be a good backup to Justinia, my champion. So, who's this guy? Lucentius? Lucentius, show me. Show me that you're just getting wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. He did, he did, um, surrender, though. He's smart about that. I will save the scumbag's life, but you know what? I'm only doing it because he's got equipment on him that I don't necessarily want to lose. Well, Sentius, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> you were terrible. You didn't even do a goddamn thing. But you saw how we got wrecked? That is because the AI skill was a lot higher than ours, for one. And, as I mentioned, the pole guys were really scary. Now, in case you're wondering what we're building up to, we need to get to the championship games. In order to do that, we have to at least win three regional championships are down here. These will be like, you know, quote-unquote boss fights. And here you can fight against monsters, ogres, lions and shit. Um, so it could be a really, really terrible time for you. So we're kind of building up our people to eventually fight these down here. And more of these will unlock. I don't think I've ever done 09. I think I've gotten very close to it, though. I have beat the game before in the past, in case you're wondering, too. But that was before all the updates, so who knows what's new over here. Um, so Lucentius, huh? I guess I'll heal you, you, you dirty scumbag. You, God, you're supposed to be my second in command here, and you, you can't even win one. Can't even win one. I mean, it was a tough fight, I will admit. Let me give you the improved amp over here for this guy. Shield control is now con. Um, oh, here we go. Pole arm defense would be very nice, huh? You know what? Let me grab that one, because the, the, the spear guys just worry me so much. Let me buy some more food and wine. I have it in reserves, and that's about it. Educator. Anatomy is done. Let's go ahead and do the um, stamina one. Now, after I'm done researching this over here, probably thinking, do you just kick him out? No, you don't. As a matter of fact, if I get rid of the educator after I research everything, 
I lose all the bonuses that I have going. So he stays there for good now, even if there's nothing else to learn from him. Because whenever you drop somebody that's um, you maxed out with, all the buffs go away. So normally that's the reason why I get him early on, is keep him around. Then after I'm done building, I replace the, the Architect with the Agent for the pit fights. And also for the blackmailing, which we'll talk about later. Let me do some more coal pits here in Doctore. We're done with the Polar Defense, perfect. Now let's do... I, I want to get up to Berserk as soon as possible, so let's do Disarming Weapon as well. Okay, Educator. Let's do the last one, which would be Psychology. And that'll be about it. And we're almost done with our episode here today. Oh, good God. <laughs> we're almost done with our video here, and we have a three-on-three. Three-on-three, what's the rewards? We got 218 gold, 41 apple, 6 wine, and 2 favor, I would probably... Or 2 muscles, or recruits, I would say. Um, 51 AI skill, 42 and 39. Um, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, I I'm confident that Justinian alone would probably be alright. But he does not have a good supporting cast. As we saw, Lucentius is a scumbag, and Titus we just barely got. No. Nah. Reject that one. And remember, this is something they should remember too. It is alright to reject fights if you think you have no chance of winning. Because if you take one on and you just get wrecked, your entire run could come crashing down really fast if you lose somebody important because you accepted a fight you're, you think you're not going to win. So, for instance, that one I had, I felt we we're not going to win, so rejected. It's perfectly fine. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. If you want to see more of Domina on the channel going forward, you know what to do. You let me know in the comments. You let me know by leaving a thumbs up in the video, and we shall do so. But thus far, I'm enjoying it. I really, I, I, I love this game a lot. I In the past, it bothered me that I couldn't save, but now that I can actually save, it is so much more rewarding. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the information for the game will be down below. If I get this video out soon, the game is on sale. So, if, you know, if you like it, it's cheap right now on a Steam sale. But if I get this afterwards, apologies. Look for a good sale, though. It's not too expensive, but, you know, you might want to save your money a little bit. I know I always do, so there is that. I will catch you next time.